A polynomial function has zeros at negative 2 and 0 and 1, 0. These are points, not intervals. Which of the following must be true? So I see words like minima and stuff like that. I kind of know what's going to happen. Let's draw ourselves a coordinate plane. So that's a perfect line. I have negative 2, 0, boom, and I have 1, 0, and I know you are a zero and you are a zero. Now, usually when these things happen, if we're talking about max, min, stuff like that, I don't really care what the line looks like. It's telling me it's a polynomial, which means, you know, something like this could be happening or it could be something like this happening. We don't have that information. But what we do know, what we do know is that if these are two zeros, we are guaranteed some type of maximum or some type of minimum, even though I drew that in opposite ways. We're guaranteed some type of that. So the fact that there is no zero has nothing to do with it, or there is a zero, that doesn't have to be true. We don't have to have a zero in between our zeros. There's a local minimum or a local maximum, or there is a global minimum or a global maximum, we'll talk about that in a little bit. There is an asymptote, no. So the rule states that there is going to be a max or a min, and the rule states that it has to be local. Now, if you're wondering why, why not global or why not an absolute maximum or an absolute minimum, uh, it's because you know we don't know the exact behavior. Okay, we don't know the exact behavior of these graphs to guarantee an absolute anything. We can, though, guarantee a local something, and that's why we go with A. So it's a very tricky problem, and it's one of those things where you have to be really, 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 really good to guarantee your answer, but A is the only thing that must be true. You're very rarely guaranteed absolute or global anything, except for global domination by me. Like and subscribe.